<laughs> Cheers, Hunter Hunter fans. It's a Thursday afternoon, and you know what time it is. It's time for a Hunter Hunter live reaction, baby. Uh, unfortunately, my friend from last week, during that insane hype for 357, could not make it today. He has way too much work at his office. Um, I mean, I'm even lucky enough to, you know, come home and do these every week. Uh, but it's keeping me sane because right now he and I are working our asses off at our jobs. And when we come home and, and we read this shit, it just, the hype, it smacks us like a freaking freight train. So I'm going to react to this by myself this week, unfortunately. Title is Eve. Let me click on that. And uh, let's take a look and see where the story is going. So right now, uh, Hisoka is on a hunting spree, basically. And uh, here we go. So what's up here? So it looks like we're finally we're getting back into... I'm just zooming in a little bit. All right, so we're getting back into the princes, I think. So I'll, I'll try my very best to keep up, but the Prince arc is a little bit, uh, what's the word, complicated and dialogue heavy. So let's go and see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, so we have this guy on a big screen. Who is that? Was that guy introduced? Maybe. I haven't reviewed those past chapters in a while, so f forgive me if I forget something. At... Long last, the day has finally arrived. Humanity prepares to expand its horizons even further as it embarks anew. Look at how many people are there. Wow, look at how many people. Yo, it's like all of humanity. Yo, yo it's, it's, like, it's like right out of a North Korean army scene. Like They have like the freaking militarized style there. All the people are just waiting to embark to the dark con well to the new continent and to the dark continent. That's what I believe it is. So this is titled Eve. So let's see if we actually get some build up with Karapika and the princes and all that good stuff. So hang on, I'm gonna zoom out again. The the panels are huge. So we're on the uh, the big whale ship that Togashi left on a while back um, on its journey to the new continent. Let the Eve's festivities commence. Okay, I mean, that, that, that ship is massive. It's like the size of a mini city. It's huge. Huge! Okay. I mean, compared to the crowd, it fits all the people. It's gigantic. Cool. I am honored to be in the presence of of living witnesses to a great chapter in history. So all the press, once again, Togashi doing the world building here. The press is out in full force. From here on out, every single thing you experience will be history. That's right. You yourselves will be a part of history. And they're getting all the people hyped. It's like us. We're, we're hyped watching the chapters, and these people are hyped to leave to the new continent and the whole new expedition. With, well then, with our, without further ado, let me introduce the great giant who realized this modern this modern day arc, our very own king. Nasumi Hugaryu. Hey, the king, yo. All right. Here's the king himself. Okay. A jolly big man who's probably evil. I'm just guessing Togashi here. He's going to throw a twist at it. I've only got one thing I want to say. Hooey! I am the great king of Kakin. So the people of Kakin. Oh, yeah. And together we will claim the new continent. And the king is hyping up the people. The people are going nuts. On the second stage, we have a second in command. Beyond is back, baby! Let's go! There he is! Second in command, Beyond Netero. And the princes related to the great king by blood. They all await the very first step on this historic voyage. Ye yes. Yes. The hype is real right now. Let's go. When I was in contact with Sir... Der uh, yeah, Surinditch, right. I wonder how... 
how just how many will be left by tomorrow's ceremony? Whatever. The one who wins in the end will be me. Oh, yeah. They're talking about how many people are going to survive the fucking massacre. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, the people in this Hunter Hunter universe are so freaking sadistic. And what Netero did against Meruem was so great is that he basically solidified how horrible humans really are. And that's what's the best part, is that you really can't feel anything but guilt looking at how humans treat each other, and then the fact that they're so damn corrupt and evil at their core. Gon is corrupt and evil at his core when he sacrificed everything. It's just like, that's what's so great about this series. It always throws humans in very complex portrayals of you know what we think of humans. All you ignorant insects. Again, Togashi with the insect references look well upon me. All the all the princes are just going crazy right now saying they're going to win. They're going to win. The guy with the fucking almost smoke coming out of his ears. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Princes who look like freaking women. It just might be me. Okay. Chef Boyardee wannabe over here. Get them. Yeah. Yo, okay, so let's keep going. Looks like Don... Yo, is that Donald Trump? Is that Donald Trump? Togashi! The guy in the suit. The hair. The square face. Is that fucking Donald Trump? And he's doing this. Yo, Togashi, man. Would you stop with your games? Don't tell me that's Trump. Oh, this is going to be incredible. Togashi. Togashi. He's setting up the battle scene like no one else. Let's go, man. The second and third deck are completely cut off from each other by massive thick walls. During emergencies, they can be opened and shut from the second deck. Yo, they're going to funnel the people. I promise you there is going to be a strategy involved with Hisoka, the Phantom Troop, Karatika. There's going to be a mental game here. Togashi has always put... Mental strategy into his fights, into his big war arcs. It's going to happen here too. And everyone's closed in this boat. It's the, the plot is incredible right now with all these people. And they're all fucking stuck in the boat. Yo, man. The hunting grounds are restricted to the first and second deck only. The fact that there even is a hunting ground for the princes, obviously... Just the thinking about that is so freaking cool, man. Within the ship, maintain calm and composure. The real party begins in two months after the landfall ceremony is completed. Until then, we are not soldiers but guards. Constantly being on edge of our seats, ready at a moment's notice, and waiting for the first Prince Benjamin's orders to act on our assault plan is going to be strenuous. Look at these dudes. It's the... Oh. All the rules are being set in place. A dinner banquet every Sunday with all the princes. Oh my god. So no two princes will exit and enter at the same time. So they don't cross each other's paths in transit. Which means that we will have no chance whatsoever here. In fact, we may be spending the entire time pent up like this. There he is! Finally back to Karapika. Karapika, being a higher-ranking bodyguard will be convenient. Let's use that chance to search for a way to escape the, success, the succession war. Yeah, Kakin sucks. Kakin is, is full of corrupt shit, and they're not doing anything about all this. Their whole plan and protocol was completely meaningless. Yeah, of course, they fucking suck. And the medical team... <laughs> Only three treatment facility rooms on the third deck? While the fourth and fifth decks only have two? Yo, people are just going to die. This is totally turning into the Titanic. Yo. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Where's Leonardo DiCaprio as Karapika? Yo, this is, this is going to be a fucking bloodbath. People are going to be choking on their intestines. Oh my god, this is horrifying. There are only one-fifth of the medical facilities that they had planned. No lifeboats, I'm assuming, either. Fuck that shit. 
<laughs> Yo, one fifteenth of the doctors. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> knows exactly what to do in like almost any situation. Very thoughtful. To memorize where the airships, life rafts, and flotation devices are and deployed from and learn how to use them. The crap, crapica, man. Like this dude doesn't cut corners. Okay, this guy, like everything is on the line with this guy. He puts all of his effort into succession, to succeeding the mission at hand. He's a beast. Knowledge increases your probability of survival by a substantial amount. When it comes down to life or death compared to not knowing what to do, knowing but being unsure if you can or not will have a striking effect on your assessment of a situation. And then she's shaking, and, she, and, and he's, and he's, your highness, are you okay? I had prepared myself, I had prepared for us to die on this boat. I thought that was what I wanted, but suddenly Karapika is changing her mind. Perhaps you should rest for a while. While you do, I'll gather the necessary data and mater yes, materials. Oh, yes, thank you. Please take the queen and the prince to their sleeping chambers. Connect me to the system's control room. Yo, Karapika, my fucking boss! He's on the phone! Remember what he was like in York New and, like, the, um, Nostrato, like, gave him, basically, leadership responsibility? This dude's in fucking charge right now of the whole operation. This dude's on the phone. And what what's going on? Wait. Connect me to the control room. And they're looking in the baby's cradle. Yo, what? What, what happened? You crop it turns around quick? The, tell me the baby's gone. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing. And then it's set in motion? What? No. no. Wait. Is the prince gone already? I'm confused. Did somebody steal the prince? yet. Oh my god. Togashi. A plus build up. A plus. Now I get everything. And this writing was so well done and to the point while at the same time adding what you needed to know and building the setting so effectively that you now get everything. Now I get it. Now I know what's going on. And to see it all being put in place to see what Karapika's role is, now the story is taking off to this whole new car continent arc in the Dark Continent. Now we're ready to go. So the only thing now that we can hope for is Togashi is not going to take a hiatus right here. This would be horrible. Please. You're on fire, Togashi. You are killing it right now. Don't stop. Anyway, uh, great build-up chapter. I mean, we've had plenty of action-filled hype, so we needed a chapter like this to build the setting, get us back on track with Karapika's storyline, and this chapter did a great job of getting us back there nice and fluidly. So now we're ready to go. So uh, I cannot wait for this plot to develop. I can't wait for the chaos, which it already seems like the prince might have just been taken, which is freaking nuts. Oh, it's just wonderful. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in for the live reaction, and I will see you next time. So I just read that the baby was probably emitting an aura. I couldn't really tell what was happening, but now I'm reading the comments. This baby could be a fucking monster. I'm done, man. If the baby is a sadistic bastard, a fucking... Togashi, stop it, man! <laughs>